Alan's house in Bend in Oregon. And um, Alan has agreed to be in this film that I'm going to send to the anniversary of Ramagen, in, which is going to be in Germany, and also published to uh, the University of California System uh, History Archive. So this is Alan right here next to me. And Alan is 83 years old, and he is a veteran of World War II. And he told me today that only 10% of the people who fought in World War II for America are still alive. Is that right, Alan? Uh, only 10% of the people who fought in World War II are still alive? Roughly. Roughly. So you're in that 10%. Yeah. And so this makes you very interesting for history because uh, as I've told my daughter a lot of times, I don't know if you can zoom in on this. Okay. Can you zoom in on it? You should be able to. Yeah. This is a map of Germany in the area of Ramaga. This is a famous battle place for World War II, and it involved American soldiers, one of whom was Mr. Kelly, who uh, were taken to Germany and had to do some very dramatic war and soldier activity in order to um, attempt to overthrow Hitler. So, did you zoom in on it? Yes, I did. Okay. So, now, so this is what we're going to be talking about, and um, Alan's going to be really telling the story. This is just the introduction, and I'll be asking him questions, and it's all impromptu, and my daughter, Naomi Hansen, is filming this, and she's a graduate of Humboldt State University in International uh, business. And I'm a graduate of UT Santa Cruz, 1983, in uh, basically history and social sciences uh, with a major in Iranian Islamic uh, history, basically, you would say. So, I'm going to start out, Alan, by letting you just start. We, we know there's a lot we're going to talk about in the different episodes of this film, but this one, because of my daughter being here and it being Christmas, this is Christmas 2009, everybody. Uh, we're going to just try to cover your experiences starting when you were taken to where you went into Ramadan because we can't cover everything. You know? So if you want to just start telling, um, we know that, you that you know, you were drafted into World War II. Is that right? Right. Yeah. And so how old were you? Eighteen. Eighteen, and, and you were 18. you were uh, basically a high school graduate from Michigan, from yeah. uh, town of Michigan, was it? Detroit. Detroit. So suddenly you got a letter no one day. What year was that that you were drafted? Nineteen forty-four. Okay, so we're going back in history to the year nineteen forty-four. Alan is an eighteen-year-old guy. He's got his whole life ahead of him, and suddenly we have a world war going on, and so. Well, first thing that happens, he gets that draft letter. So we're not going to go into all of that, though, right now. We're going to take you up to where Alan is in the Army, right? Army? Were you in the Army? Okay, and what what, um, what brigade or infantry, what was the identification of your unit? It was the 9th Infantry Division, 47th Regiment, G Company. G Company. So, and uh, a lion company, uh -huh. meaning you're on a lion, and uh, everybody else is in back. Oh, and so you were front, up front. Yeah, where the, the where the enemy is. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, do you came into Europe? Where did you land in Europe? Landed at uh, La Havre, France. You landed. Or if you want to consider England part of Europe, I, I landed in Liverpool. You landed by airplane in Liverpool? No. Ship. ship? Okay, ship. you rode by ship in Liverpool, England, and then you took a ship to Well, France? I took a train across England. You took a train across England? To Southampton. To Southampton. Got on another ship and uh, went to La Havre. And then, uh, where, how, from La Havre, what, how did you then manage to make it to be up to the German border? Well, uh, you, you didn't go in any deluxe accommodations. They were uh, mostly just what the poor people have to ride in. Right. And uh, 
The train. The train. The whole the, the American Lamar. soldiers were on French train. It was a French train. Okay. That took you to where? Took me to uh, Viviers, Belgium. Viviers, Belgium. And that was a you know a, a main ruffle duffel. That's on that's short for replacement. Uh, replacement. Something, something, I forget. So then you were like stayed in Belgium, what, how long before you? Oh, I think it was probably um, three nights. And then who, what did they do? Come and tell you now you're going to Germany or now yeah. you're going to go be real soldiers or what? Yeah, they just said, well, you've been assigned to G Company, 47th Regiment, 9th Infantry Division. And you guys are going. And, and we uh, got up to the front on a truck. You know, truck. They took you up to the front on a truck. And uh, then you meet the other soldiers. And uh, glad to see you. So you're going to be helping them. And so what was the first main thing you were going to do when you went into Germany? Pardon? Did they tell you, you know, what the main first thing you were going to be doing was going to be well, you just have to guess yeah. from day to day. No, because uh, that's all a little bit hush-hush. So well, the, 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 the officers, uh, they don't especially want you to know what the hell you're going to do. Okay, so they just wake you up in the morning and say, get in a truck or whatever. Yeah. So let's get them right to when you... Uh, this map here that uh, shows this battle, the famous battle, battle of Remagen, Germany. And, um, and, uh, and let me just say that the name of the bridge was the Ludendorff Railroad Bridge. So, it was named after a World War One German general. So how did you get to there? How did you get to Ludendorff? We got there by truck. They, they uh, brought you we, right, right by truck to the Ludendorff Bridge. We were about uh, 80 miles away in um, in quite a famous German town, the um, name of it escapes me right now, but it was uh, a fairly large. We were on the outskirts of. of uh, yeah, I can find the man. Well, okay. Denzig or Cripper? Uh, no, it, it was. Um, uh, well, I'd have to look on the map. Um, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But, they have been somewhere but anyway, we didn't know where we were going. We traveled all night long, and we arrived at Ramagan at daybreak. Okay, the town of Ramagan. The town of Ramagan. Which is near the Ludendorff Bridge? Which is, well, no, wait, we, uh, uh, yeah, we, we were uh, on the safe side of the bridge, and we had to cross over the Rhine, uh, and uh, it had been shelled and bombed, and it was in very poor shape, but it still was standing, and a German major who was in charge of blowing the bridge didn't blow it. I think he was court-martialed by Hitler himself, but I never bought word about that part. And, um, and on the other side of the bridge, there was a tunnel, and the bridge, and the, uh, bridge led directly into this tunnel. And inside the tunnel were German show soldiers firing at us with machine guns and whatever. Now, you so, got, you, so you were walking across the bridge? Walking, running, any way I could get across. So, them. where did they let you off? Right off the bridge? Hmm? Where did the where, where did you get off the truck at? Oh, maybe a couple blocks from the bridge. So, all these trucks arrive, and all these American soldiers with all their gear and guns, yeah. and you get out, and they say, and general or your leader goes, go that way or whatever. Well, we didn't know where we were. So they said to you, do what? They just said, that's a bridge. That's a river. You're going to walk across that bridge and get to the other side, 
Well, I'll be in shock. And then, and what are you, and what were you going to do after you get across the bridge? And then the other side of the bridge, we had, uh, there was a town called Erpo. Yeah, I see that on the see map. That? Yeah. And, uh, and it was a big, a very steep hill. Uh, and we had to walk up that hill, uh, and, and, uh, and we went into Erpo. Now, uh, we weren't the first to cross. Ninth Armored Division crossed, but they, they only, uh, they didn't attempt to go any further until we came along. So at the time, though, you really didn't know everything. You know a lot more now than well, you did at the time. Well, so, didn't know where I was or so what. I don't, most of the viewers and all that, okay. 